YouTube, welcome back to the channel. A lot of stuff happened today on Thursday on FC 25. We had SBCs, marquee matchups, EA messing up store packs, promo packs, and market movements, market rising, but also market crashing. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to look at is content for today. Let's just take a quick peek at it. We got a total rush challenge. Brand new SBC, rare mix player pack, who cares? And then we also got marquee matchups. We knew marquee matchups was coming. Uh, Fenerbahce, Galatasaray, Milan versus Inter, Villarreal versus Barca, Man City versus Arsenal. Now the Milan versus Inter, I know a few people bought those as an investment. They were 450, 500 coins. They're 400 coins now. They weren't required. Uh, Villarreal versus Barcelona. That's what ended up being the second marquee matchups, usually has two games. Um, top game requires players from the team. Second one also requires. So that is what Villarreal versus Barcelona is. You need a Villarreal or Barcelona player. And I think that was a little under the radar, not as expected. So these Villarreal players actually went up in price. I don't know if they are still up in price, but I did quickly pick up a couple of these for 450 coins. I didn't even look at the Barca ones. And I sold them for 900. Are they still up? Seems like they're still up actually a little bit. Yeah, they're 800 coins right now. So they're actually still somewhat expensive. And uh, same thing with the Arsenal players. The Arsenal and the City players were like 700, 750, and they went up to 1,500 coins. So that was marquee matchups. Guys, make sure you complete marquee matchups as well. It's basically always worth doing. Even if you have to spend a few thousand coins to complete it, I recommend you do it. You should make coins off of it most of the time. Uh, and then we did get a player SBC as well, Angel Sosa, and um, yeah, that was content drop. Now, let's talk about the market. What happened with the market? It rose quite a bit. We're going to head over to FootGG for this. By the way, FootGG is clear of uh, Footbin right now. Footbin has fallen off, but FootGG, the market flew. Uh, what we saw was a lot of people specifically on Xbox getting on the game because they can do the glitch where it's like, hey, I'm going to make my location New Zealand. New Zealand gets the game a lot earlier before everyone else. So as they got onto the game, you can see the market just rose. I believe this is my time. Five, six, seven in the morning, my time. You see someone like Lamin Yamal goes from 48K to over 100,000 coins. You see this everywhere on the market. A really popular one was Van de Ven. Van de Ven flew in price. This dude was down at 15,000 coins, went all the way. I think he was up at like 52,000 coins at one point. Uh, if you guys watched the previous YouTube video, I'm kind of upset about this one. After the video as well, I was like, I probably should have held that Diaz. Um, damn, I bought this guy for 20... Um, 20,000 coins sold for 22 K. He ended up going down to 17, five, but then boom up at 55,000 coins right now, chilling at 28,000 coins. So this was across the whole market cards went up a ton. Now you're seeing that they're not up anymore. What happened? Why are these cards no longer up in price? Well, no, it's not marquee matchups. It's not the marquee matchups that was causing the crash. It's not anything like that. It's the store. Um, EA released promo packs. The game's not even out. EA released promo packs. They also got rid of the premium gold packs. They got rid of the premium silver packs and they got rid of bronze packs. Uh, obviously there's the preview packs, so those are still available. You can open premium gold packs through that, but bronze packs being gone before we get into the rest of the market, um, crashing and, everything because of the promo packs bronze packs actually made some other areas of the market rise i told you guys in the previous video how managers from good nations will do really good i picked up some brazilians and i picked up some french managers they were 800 coins uh 800 900 coins around there as you can see they're up a thousand coins already because no one can open bronze packs and without anyone opening bronze packs none of these managers are getting packed and people are going on to the game uh as they go on the game they start making their teams they need managers so i bought i think three or four french managers for 800 900 coins and they're over 2k so uh i, I will say if you have managers from good nations i would look to take that profit just because um if the bronze packs do come back soon you're probably going to see those managers come back down in price a little bit 
Uh, so I will be taking the profit. I haven't sold mine yet, but I will look to take the profit on my managers. And then if they come back down again, I'll buy back in. So that's the bronze packs. I don't really know why they got rid of them. It, it's 100% a mistake. It, there's no way they were just like, hey, we're going to get rid of bronze packs. That makes no sense. So it was definitely an error that bronze packs aren't here and it affected the market. Um, I mean, I know the managers got affected massively, but I'm assuming some players as well potentially got affected a little bit. Now, uh, promo packs, let's talk about it. They randomly released these and it's kind of weird um the prime gold player packs are only out for another two and a half hours so if you live in england you're going to have an hour to be able to open these packs but for someone like me i can't get onto the game i'll show you real quick i can't get onto the game for another six and a half hours so i'm not going to be able to open these prime gold player packs kind of annoying um is what it is i would prefer to open the prime gold player packs but i do think like discard value wise, the prime gold player packs will give you more coins. Uh, so these promo packs came out and everything crashed. I was watching meta cards to invest. And um, luckily, before I spent the rest of my coins, those came out and I was able to uh, not spend the rest of my coins. I did have a Swanson that I bought for 15K. She went up to 16K. These packs came out and how much is she now? She's probably like 12,000 coins. She's even less. That's crazy. What are we looking at? Even less? Oh my God, man. I like. I do expect this card to rise later on, but I, I want to take my coins now and then invest later because I do think these cards can drop more. By the way, last year, she was like a 60,000 coin card. So I'm hoping this card can go up in price. Now, uh, that's the market crashing. Um, you, you see it everywhere. We can look at pretty much every single player here. Gilk or S had his price range updated. The dude was all the way up here, 24, 22, 18. And he's just been dropping in price. Everywhere has been dropping. Now, um, what, what do I think? What do I think with the market buying cards? Yes, you should be buying this dip. But when is the low going to be? Uh, I think the low is going to be... We're going to have Europe getting on the game in about half an hour, hour and a half. So this video, I mean, it depends on when you're watching this video. But I think what we're going to see is a lot of people from Europe getting on, spending their FC points immediately. They're going to spend their FC points immediately on, on these packs. I mean, not necessarily immediately, but most likely. Uh, they're going to rip through these packs and obviously there's going to be some supply. So you might see a little bit more of a dip. You might see these cards come down a little bit more. But then once they spend their FC points, they're going to go play the game. They're going to spend their coins and they're going to buy these players up. So there might be a little bit more of a dip on these cards. But eventually I do think they're going to rise. And if you're a little late into buying, the card drops a bit more. Don't freak out too much. If you're a little late the cards rising already, it's okay. Just buy in. I do think a lot of these cards are going to continue to rise. Uh, a good way to look at it as well is, is sometimes just to look at the previous game, like Alfonso Davies, for example. <clears throat> Pulling up Alfonso Davies, this dude is 16,000 coins. I, before those promo packs got released, I was looking to buy Alfonso Davies for below 20K. Um, he was like 19,000 coins. I was trading to just get enough to get to him, and then he went all the way up to 26K. It's not shown here. He went to 26K, they released those promo packs, boom, he's now down at 16K. But uh, something to do is to just look. So let's go FC24, Alfonso Davies. It's a fairly similar card. Just look at the previous year, see how much he was going for. I will say Alfonso Davies, uh, playstyle plus. I don't, does he have one? I don't think he does. Load, load, there we go. Alfonso Davies. Does he have a playstyle plus this year? No, no playstyle plus this year. So that is going to negatively impact his card. But just looking at it, last year, where the heck are we? Last year, he was in 73, 72, 73,000 coin card. That's a big difference. 16K to 72, 73K is a big difference. I do think this is a card that could go up in price. And just kind of do that with any card, I guess, that you'd be looking at. Another really popular one, Kyle Walker. Just meta cards. Good meta cards on the game I would expect to go up in price. This dude is cheap, man. 69K, are you kidding me? 
that's low. This dude will very likely, I'd say, be over 100,000 coins in a couple days. So that's Kyle Walker. I will say, I'm glad this just reminded me talking about the Kyle Walker. Evolutions. Um, maybe some of the evolutions could be hurting some of these right backs. Uh, also trade with the evolutions keep an eye out on some popular evolution cards i didn't look at them until today but the evolutions are actually really solid very solid i had um a couple viewers they kept mentioning dallo as an investment i was like why are you buying dallo what, what's so special about dallo i didn't realize he fits this evolution in in, in the evolution i mean it's not a bad looking card. Slap an anchor on this Dallo. You have a very, very solid card for cheap. I mean, let's look. He's got to be one of the top ones right here. Yes, he is. He's 6,000 coins. You put him into that evolution. It's a really solid card. So definitely, I would say keep an eye out on some of these players that are popular for evolutions. And if they come down in price when people get on the game and they spend their FC points, definitely look to pick them up. I wouldn't be afraid to spend some coins on them uh let's see joe gomez looks solid joe gomez looks like a really solid one double evo on joe gomez i saw on twitter i forget who tweeted it there were some double evos that were really sick someone tweeted out a female and she looked nasty but let's look up joe gomez let's just see how his price has been trending uh prices and he was up at four two and now he's down at three eight so hmm a little iffy on that one. Maybe not something I would look into necessarily. Um, when I'm looking at a card, maybe try to look at someone that's actually down. They're down in price a decent amount. I think it was Salma. I mean, yeah, that Salma looks nice. This, Yeah, I think it was the double Evo on Salma. She goes from 79 shooting to 86 shooting with power shot play style plus 93 pace, 80, 86 shooting, 85 dribbling. It's a pretty solid card. So just keep an eye out on the meta cards. I definitely think you're going to have a buy window at some point in the next few hours for sure. And keep an eye on some of the evolutions. So the evolutions and the metas. I think that's what you're going to be looking to buy. Um, spend your FC points quickly. It stinks for me. I have a game tonight in two hours. And then when I come home, I'm going to take a nap and then I got to wait. I mean, I, I'm late. I'm late. I could have someone log into my account, but I want to open my packs on the console. So I'm going to be late to opening my packs and investing my coins. But I will say, guys, I'll be live 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So midnight my time. If you want to join the stream, it's a late, late night live stream for me. But I'm going to be live as soon as I can get on trading, spending all my coins on packs. And um, yeah, it, it's this is it. Just invest your coins into meta cards popular evolutions as well and then that's that like i'm gonna try to build my team i'm gonna try to build a team around some meta cards and it's an investment but i'm gonna use them for my team so what else do we have uh we talked about the market rising and then it crashing because of those promo packs pretty crazy that they released those promo packs obviously look to buy meta cards off of the market um like i said people are going to spend their fc points Obviously, there's going to be some pack supply, but then after that, they're going to go look to buy these cards off the market and build their teams. And like I said, keep an eye on some of those Evos because they are, I mean, they're pretty nasty. They're not pretty nasty. They're very nasty. One of them isn't showing. I think they, my chat was telling me it shows up once you actually go into the game. Um, one last thing before we get into some leaks, because there are actually some leaks, like full leaked next promo, not necessarily next promo, might be a couple weeks away, but... Uh, one more thing, SBC Solution Trading. Guys, SBC Solution Trading is incredible. We've talked about it. It's how I make my first million coins every single year. It's what this is. One million coins in seven days. Buy price 650, sell price 4,400. Bought for 650, sold for 44. Here's someone else from my Discord talking about it. Guys, remember, if you want to join my Discord, it's in the description down below. If you want to join the VIP trading section of my Discord, all you have to do is subscribe to my Twitch channel. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free to my Twitch channel every single month. Supports your coin balance on this game, and it supports my streams. So, um, SBC Solution Trading for a second was really good today. Like, really good. If we go... I'll just show it on my transfer list real quick. This dude's name, My Weenie. 
Uh, I bought these my weenies for 200 coins, sold them for 1,000, 1,100, 1,100, 850, 1,000 coins. Um, there were a couple other players as well, buying for 200, selling for 700, buy for two, sell for six. Um, it was decent. It was only decent for a second though, because it was when the new SBCs popped up. Oh, new SBCs popped up, awesome. Everyone's buying this specific one, but then over time, it got flooded because guess what? Every single SBC costs zero coins. Footbin doesn't have prices yet. So um, it was just like a tease, a taste of what SBC solution trading can be. Basically, oh, this is the cheapest solution. Let's look at it. These kind of players would skyrocket in price. That's all it really is. But every SBC is the cheapest right now because Footbin doesn't have prices and every card costs zero coins. So once Footbin can fix their website, get the prices in, everything can work, we are going to make bank. It, we had it for a second. It, it's it's crazy. You can make a ton of coins solution trading. It's ridiculous. So fingers crossed, Footbin can uh, fix their website and we can make some coins. Now, leaks, what do we got? I posted this in the Discord. By the way, guys, the Discord free trading section, um, there's a lot of information in there. So free trading section of the Discord, I came in and said, hey guys, new promo packs are causing a little crash in the market. I would expect... I would expect some stuff to continue dropping and we will look to invest later. Join the trading discord. There's the free trading section, but also there's the leaks as well. Road to the knockout. We're going to pull that up right now. So boom, let's head over there and bang. So what do we got? Road to the knockout. Team one has already been leaked. I uh, said we don't have a confirmed date, but it seems EA wants to give us a big promo from the first Friday. Very interesting. Uh, this is crazy if this is the first promo on the game. Jude Bellingham, Frimpong, Watkins, Jota, Alvarez, Doku, DeMarco, Otamendi, Bente LeBlanc, Sesco, Posh, Godfrey, Van de Beek, Alan St. Maximin, Romero, Koch, Cherky, Stefan, Isco, Keane, Diani, Pina, and Bjorn. What the? Wait, hold. I didn't look at this. I just knew it was out. Where are the Arsenal players? Where's the Koji EA? Yo, that's messed up. Okay. I see how it is. All right. Um, anyways, that is the full team one already leaked. And then this is how they will upgrade. Launches out. Boom. They win three games in the league. I'm assuming it means like the new Champions League format league. However, that is. You win three games plus one overall. Uh, team scores one goal in four matches. Of that's this is worded kind of weird. One plus in four plus matches, so one goal and huh? Team scores. Team score one plus in four plus mat. Okay, um, something there gives a plus one overall and a roll plus plus, and then finish top two in your league. You get one playstyle plus and another roll plus plus so that is how the upgrades are going to be and that is the leak and that is going to be it for this video guys really just uh watch those meta cards spend your fc points buy those meta cards and then hopefully uh solution trading is going to work but right now footbin is dookie Flippin, please start working. Your website stinks. Foot GG right now is clear. Uh, any questions, guys, comment section down below. My trading Discord and my Twitch live stream are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to sell this card. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.